Good afternoon, class, and welcome to your lesson 4A, The Schools of Thought. I have divided this uh, lesson into two, okay, 4A and 4B, because it's a kind of extensive lesson. So, in natin siya sa dalawa, para at least hindi masyadong mabigat yung diskusyon natin. So, if ever if you have questions or clarifications regarding the lesson, feel free to ask. Now, for our learning objectives, at the end of this lesson, the students should have learned to identify the different methods of philosophizing, analyze the uh, situations that allow us to use an appropriate philosophical method, apply logical analysis in basic human arguments, and then realize that the methods of philosophizing lead to wisdom and truth. So, it's very exciting ngayon ang klase natin dahil Um, ang diskusyon ay tungkol na sa mga method o yung mga tamang pag-apply ng mga paraan o approaches towards philosophizing. Kaya naman, binuksan ko ang lesson sa challenge of the day dito. Okay, I'm going to present to you, I have presented you an anecdote dun sa Moodle platform ninyo. And to begin with, okay, uh, there are three questions that I would like you to answer. Okay? So, bago yung sagutin, intindi natin muna yung lesson. Okay, so ito po yung mga tanong. So, go to your Moodle platform and check this out. First, do you make conclusions even before you get to hear the entire problem? How would you react to this for three points? Okay? So, kayo daw ba ay mahilig uh, maging mapaghusga kahit ba hindi nyo pa naririnig yung buong eksena o buong istorya? Two, what do you think the bartender should have done on the first place. This refers to the anecdote that you're going to read. And then last, is the story that you're going to read a factual statement or an opinion statement? Or it's, is it a work of fiction? If you believe that it is an opinion, explain the elements of the story missing in the anecdote. If factual, ma what makes the story believable for four points? Okay? Answering this would be discussed to you later on, okay, on the topic, so just go over it. Ito po yung anecdote. No? Allow me to read it for you. This is taken from John C. Maxwell's uh, book entitled Winning the People in 2004. A middle-aged man entered a cocktail lounge and walked directly to the bar. Do you have anything that will cure hiccups? He asked the bartender. Without a word, the bartender reached down under the bar, picked up a wet bar rag, and slapped the man across the face with it. Hey, what's the big idea? Well, you don't have hiccups anymore, do you? Asked the bartender. I never did, the man replied. I wanted something to cure my wife. She's out there in the car. You see? Kawan nyo ba yung naging takbo ng istorya? So, what are you going to do after this? Comment your answers on the forum page I have prepared for you sa inyong Moodle platform. Ang answers can be expressed either in English or Filipino. Iwasan na po yung taglish, ha? May minus points yan. Then, all answers should at least accumulate 300 to 400 words. Tatlong sagot na yun. Dapat yun ang total. So, huwag masyadong mahaba ang paliwanag. May kli, pero may sustansya. Ika nga. Be careful not to reach more than 500 or 500 para hindi magkaroon ng issue sa pag-upload sa Moodle platform. Now, this activity is good for one week. Alright? Okay, so moving on to the lesson. Oh, sabi natin, methods of Philosophizing. Okay, so, ito na yung paraan kung paano ang tao gumagamit ng filosofiya sa kanyang pang-araw-araw na buhay. No? Pag-iisip. Pero bago tayo pumunta rin dumako doon sa iba't ibang paraan na yan, pag-aralan muna natin yung mga concepts dito. Like, what is a method? Okay, it says in the uh, module that a method is a general or established way or order of doing anything. No? In other words, ito ay parang paraan o sistema ng paggawa okay? kung saan merong established way. No? Organized, ikangat. 
Ano naman po yung method of philosophizing? It says here that method of philosophizing uses a certain approach whether in oral or written discussion to defend one's belief, idea, or opinion. No? So yung kitin tinatawag na pamimiloso po. Pamimiloso po in the sense that you try to defend your idea, your belief, okay, whether it's true or not, okay, applying philosophy. Sa Tagalog, nangangatwiran ka. No? Para iparating mo na na eto yung salobin mo. Pero hindi pa yung question kung tama o mali, kung tuwid o baloktot yung pangangatwiran mo. Kasi dun papasok ngayon yung pangatlo. Yan po yung method of philosophy. Sabi ko nga, iba yung namimiloso po sa gumagamit ng filosofiya sa pamimiloso po. Method of philosophy is employed by philosophers when they present their ideas, concepts, and arguments in an orderly and systematic manner. Ilulit ko ha. Presenting they are, their ideas in orderly no, and systematic manner. Yan ang sinasabi ko noon pa man eh. Gamit ang method of philosophy so that they can refute para mga tuwiran. At higit sa lahat, ay para maiiwas ang sino mang pilosopo o namimilosopo na lumabas na sila ay nagkakamali o katawa-tawa. Hmm. So alam niyo na pinagkaiba ng method of philosophizing sa method of philosophy. Sa philosophizing, andyan yung pangangatwiran pero hindi pa ganap kung tuwid o baluktot yung ikinakatwiran mo. Pero pag yung katwiran na yan, hinaluan ng method of philosophy kung saan ito ay nanggaling sa pinaghinang, pag-aaral, pagsusuri, at karanasan ng napakaraming mga pilosopo, eh mas maganda maging takbo ng argumento mo. Simulan na natin. Ano-ano po ba itong mga methods of philosophizing na to? Well, una sa lahat, andyan yung tinatawag na conceptual analysis. At yung pinaka-basic, isa sa mga pinaka-basic, learning the concepts, ika nga. Why do we need to learn a concept? Because in edu education, in studies, or in everyday life, for that matter, we are surrounded by concepts. We are surrounded by ideas. Di ba? So, kailangan alam natin o meron tayong sapat na kaalaman tungkol sa mga bagay na pinag-aaralan natin, na binabasa natin, Kaya, learning the concepts is basic in philosophy. Ibig sabihin, halimbawa, di ba, sa language, nag-aaral tayo, no? English. Kapag hindi mo alam yung isang word sa English, o sa salita sa English, <coughs> anong ginagawa mo? Tama. Kumukonsulta ka ng dictionary. Bakit mo kailangan dictionary? Kasi kapag meron kang isang... Uh, salita na hindi alam o wala kang kalaman tungkol doon, kailangan mo ng tulong. At yung dictionary ay magbibigay sa'yo ng paliwanag to explain the concept. Same goes with your textbooks. Okay? Kahit yung consulting the almighty Google, may lalabas dyan na type, just type the word. That is learning the concepts. Why do we need to apply this? Because we need to verify if what we are saying applies to what we know. Kasi ang hirap nung gumagamit ka ng isang salita, eh, hindi mo naman pala alam yung kaulugan. Kasi nang magumukhang eng-eng doon. O di ba ikaw? No? Kaya dapat alamin mo muna. Kasi nakikisaw-saw ka lang doon sa salita. Gaya-gaya ka. Hindi mo naman pala alam yung pinakakahulugan doon. Hindi, eh, umapahiya ka lang. Okay? Second to that is yung philosophical dialogue. This is a method where people discuss to work out a problem together than in isolation. So, ang pinakamagandang example ng philosophical dialogue, ayan, tulad nung nasa picture, meeting. Now, when there is a meeting of the minds, there is philosophical dialogue. Ibig sabihin, merong palitan ng mga kuro-kuro, palitan ng mga ideas. Kaya yung mga meeting na pinapagawa sa inyo, mga group reports, no, during regular classes, these are important 
uh, opportunities para matutuwa ang ilabas kung ano yung mga nalalaman mo. No? Pero ang pinaka-importante tandaan nyo kapag ina-apply nyo ang philosophical dialogue, tandaan nyo na ang goal ninyo ay mahikayat ang iba magsalita. Yun ang pinaka-goal. Kasi hindi tamang i-apply ang philosophical dialogue kung mag, diba, mag-round table ka nga mag-meeting kayo, tapos ikaw lang naman nagsasalita, sila oo lang ng oo, and then you're not consulting kung meron ba silang tanong, meron ba silang paglilinaw na kailangan gawin, ah, kaya ba nila yung trabaho pinapagawa mo? So, it defeats the purpose. Nagpa-meeting ka pa, sana sinabi mo na lang, ito gawin mo, gawin mo, gawin mo, di ba? Kaya ka nagpa-meeting, kaya ka nag gumagawa ng meeting is para marinig mo ang salita ng bawat isa. Whether magsalitain o hindi, ang importante sa ganitong approach or method in philosophizing is mabigyan mo ng pagkakataon, marinig o makapagsalita yung tao. That is the correct way of applying this method. Hindi yung maging pabida-bida ka na ikaw na lang lahat. Di po ba? Okay? There are two more at sila yung pinaka sentro ng discussion natin ngayong uh, araw na to. Unahin natin yung pangatlo muna. The method of logical analysis. Ako, ito na. No? Medyo mababa na konti ito, pero maganda ako matututunan ninyong gawin. Ang logical analysis says here is accepting the assertion based on the intention of the speaker. Okay? Una muna. Tandaan ninyo na ang philosophy in its classical time began with the idea na ang kaalaman at intelligence daw ay nagmumula lang sa divine intervention. Kaya naman si Aristotle, 5,000 years ago, developed this syllogism or logic to demonstrate truth or claim of conclusion. Ang logic as a philosophy is a deductive argument of a certain form where there is a conclusion coming from the assertion of sound premises. To give you a better understanding sa sinasamiting syllogism o logic, no? ginamit ito ni Aristotle noong kapanahon niya hanggang sa ngayon, okay, the rule of logic was applied as a matter of defense to avoid committing fallacy. A fallacy is a form of statement that does not conform or incline to human reasoning. So, be very careful about fallacies. Okay? Dahil maling pamimiloso po ang gumagamit ng palasya. Some common types of false arguments or fallacies are argumentum ad populi, argumentum ad hominem, argumentum ad universam, and argumentum ad misericordiam. They are in Latin forms. In English, argument by the people, argumentum ad hominem is argument of a person, argumentum ad universum is sweeping generalizations or overgeneralizations, and argumentum ad misericordiam is argument by way of mercy. Okay? Ipapaliwanag ko sa inyo isa't isa to sa paggamit ng mga examples para higit niyong maunawaan. Kaya dyan lang kayo. Stay tuned.